Don't do that. Don't feed him that. Don't eat apples. So last week we were talking about how social media and technology can impact you as a dad. Back in my dad's day, as we were talking last week on Skype, there wasn't any social media or technology or any of that kind of thing. It was just like the grandma, the mums, the aunties, everyone else in like your immediate circle that would be like, don't do that. You should put on a nappy differently. Don't feed him that. Cut the grapes. Don't eat apples. It's just like, okay, thanks. That's a lot different to how social media kind of like dictates things now. But now, especially with my job, as I mentioned a couple of episodes, so to go, you know, we've got the Instagram, we've got the Facebook, we've got the YouTube, we've got all that kind of stuff, and it gives everyone a voice. So social media is amazing. Gary Vee will say it all the time, this is probably one of the best times to be alive in terms of starting a business and getting your name out there and that type of thing. But at the same time, it gives everyone, and I mean everyone, a voice. And I feel it's sometimes it's a bit overwhelming because it makes you question everything that you do. You'll post a picture or a little video clip of you doing something with your child or something, and then some Someone will come in the comment section and say, oh, you're a bad parent because of this. Look at what's in the background, this. They feel they have a right to tell you how to parent. I've seen it on other people's posts and stuff, and sometimes the, the points are fairly valid. But at the same time, it makes you just wonder, am I, am I good at what I'm doing? Do I need to change what I'm doing? And it, it really does put pressure on you. I mean, I've had a history of panic attacks at one point, which I've actually done a full video on if you, wanna, if you guys wanna see what happened and how I overcame it kind of thing. But it's those type of pressures that impact you not just as a dad but just as a parent in general flip as a human being like even if we just take parenthood out of it as a human being it can impact you in terms of like your judgment what you think of yourself how you value yourself and it's just important to to come away from that I mean I'm fairly lucky in the sense that like I mentioned in the previous episode I can do a lot of the stuff that I need to do at home you know I can edit videos at home I can edit Instagram pictures at home but if you're a dad doing like a nine to five well more like a seven to 10 and you're pretty much out the house all day you're trying to stay fit you're trying to get to the gym and then you're trying to be a good dad as well that's a lot of pressure it is tough but anyway this morning was a little bit hectic had to pack all the orders for the true beast launch which was a very successful launch i do want to get out the house i'm going to take elijah to the museum get some edification it's really nice it's very nice very scenic trainers boots yeah. <laughs> Get your jacket. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? Dad's got powers, superpowers. Okay. Yeah, superpowers. I'll pass the superpowers on to you as well. <laughs> Takes practice. <laughs> your shoulders are getting too big. So just want to give another big shout out to iCandy for all this helpful stuff. That raspberry push chair is just like, folds up so small, even into this little hatchback is great. So, thanks guys. Remember how I said I've got magic powers? Watch this. Go, buggy, go. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cut the camera. Elijah, Elijah, slow, Elijah. 
Like I was saying, like social media makes everything hard. You're putting yourself in a position to be scrutinized by others, whether that's making fitness YouTube videos, posting family videos. So really at the end of the day, it's about just trusting your own judgment. Obviously there's gonna be things that you do wrong and things that you do well. Elijah, slow down. But as long as like, as long as a child's interest is at the forefront, I don't think you can go wrong. It's if like you're thinking about something else and then they're not really the priority and then that's when things start deviating off. But Elijah, slow down. The road is dangerous. Then so right now you need to hold my hand. Hold my hand. Thank you. It's one of those things. Single parents, I'll say it every single time. Y'all are super damn heroes. They should do like a Marvel, <laughs> Marvel film on you guys. Actually a really fun day. It was actually nice to see um, how Elijah sees stuff in, on TV and in books and stuff like that to see it in real life and point them out like crab, fish, frog. Ribbit. Uh, yeah. But back to the topic at hand, I think the most important thing is to just have support systems in place. Not all of us are superhuman and can juggle everything for periods of time. Like it just, it will get on top of you. So I think having some support systems in place where you can just say, mom, dad, can I drop so and so off with you for today and then just relax just do something that you want to do because we all need it every now and again because i said this in season one i can't remember what episode it was but you if you haven't watched season one go back and watch it because it was really cool i was talking about how i don't want my pressures to kind of rub off onto elijah or for him to notice them it's, it's hard sometimes and i know i don't i don't nail it every time but when i'm tired or i'm frustrated or i'm just angry for whatever reason and like like <laughs> So you walk through the door, you're like, oh, I can't believe he just did that. Hey, how are you doing? What did you today it's just, you have to it's tough but you need to just kind of like not allow external factors to rub off on him or her because then it creates a negative environment but i do often sit down and i wonder what if <laughs> it was just me i'll be mad because my dad actually my dad when um my sister was three it was literally just before i was born my mum was living in switzerland when she was between age two and three he was with my sister all the time he had to work in the office so he was living in reading working in London and looking after a toddler mad I don't know how we did it I really don't but if I'm honest if it was just me and Nisha wasn't here I don't know how I would do it I keep saying it but I really do commend single parents because to get work done to have time for kids to take them out to just be a good parent it's must be tough must be tough but that's where support systems come into play as well so there's always a way you never know how strong you are until being strong is your only option say it again it's Bob Marley said it love it but that is it hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'll catch you guys later peace thank you for tuning in for this episode of dad life can't believe it's almost done but tune in next sunday for the next episode but also i've just released my very own podcast <laughs> links are going to be in the description box oh, it's called working it out so check it out subscribe to it leave a five star review and we'll see you next week